We are going to present a local to global deformation framework for skeleton flea character animations. Our framework is particularly useful for self-actuated flexible objects such as jellyfishes. We show the design process of our framework. The user first constructs an orientation field by specifying smooth layer field and primary directions. The user selects a color and paints on the model with three tools. The system automatically interpolates the constraints to generate smooth layer field. Next, the user draws several strokes onto the model to specify the primary direction of the orientation field. The system generates an orientation field over the model from the user drawn strokes and the layer field. We provide the three deformation charts. The top chart specifies the deformation rate in the primary direction of the orientation field. The middle is for the second, the bottom is for the third direction. The user can modify the charts by placing and moving control points. In the volume preservation mode, the user can modify the top charts. The middle and bottom are automatically updated so that the local deformation preserves the original volume. The amplitude field supports to control the space-dependent magnitude of local deformations. As this example, the amplitude field is useful for designing bending motion. A phase shift field allows the user to design the propagation phenomena of deformation signals. The user designs this field by painting source and sink points on the model. The system propagates the deformation signal along the gradient of the phase shift field. This scene shows a working worm. The user can interactively add external forces during the animation. We specify the amplitude field to design this bending motion. The user can easily design complicated motions of a flat one by controlling volumetric field and deformation charts. This scene contains 100 moving worms and 7300 particles in total. In this scene, we show an example of stimuli-response interaction. The system generates deformation signals when the user touches the object. This scene visualizes the deformation signals. We show an animation of the heart. We first fix the top region and specify the deformation charts. We contract local tissues in the primary direction and expand in the second direction. Finally, this scene shows a peristaltic motion of the S-shaped bile. 